uh, going into the final day of the season. We still have a race on the final day. Now, I think it's interesting that everybody is talking about the the title race as though it is wrapped up. I mean, what does that say about the state of the English Premier League, bro? Like, City is so inevitable. I mean, I feel like we have we are at Farmers League status at the moment. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And Bayer Leverkusen win the win the Bundesliga for the first time in what twelve years, and now now he thinks the Premier League is a Farmers League. The Premier League has been a Farmers League for the last maybe seven eight years, despite the. Despite the status of the Bundesliga, you know, which is, uh, yes, it is a farmer's league, but, man, bro, City are the Bayern of the Premier League. They are, but, but better. They are so inevitable. No, Freeze, I need to understand because I'm, I need to understand what exactly people are describing as a farmer's league and why. Because what I'm understanding from people is that they're saying if a team repeatedly wins the league, that means it's a farmer's league, right? But my, from what I understand is a farmer's league should be that there's only one good team and the rest are shit. Yeah. This is my understanding. And I have been using the term lately a bit ironically because, you know, a few years ago, everybody was in my face. Not you guys, but I have conversations with, you know, people on social media, I'm on Twitter spaces sometimes and I, I I get a lot of Bundesliga is the farmer's league and the other teams are just shit and it's really just Bayern. And Bayern is not even that good. It's just that they're in a league with tons of other teams who are shit. And I've been fighting against that for the last, you know, four years. And what I have been trying to show people is that the EPL or the English Agricultural League is very similar in the sense that you have a side or two, really, Liverpool, who is just so many miles better than every other team in the league. You know, you had City and Liverpool getting both of them almost 100 points, just a few points shy of 100 points. And... You know, you can call it whoever's fault, you know, you want. You can call it Pep's fault. You can call it the city ownership's fault. I think a lot of it started with Pep. But we have a situation where Man City are just consistently so much better and more inevitable than pretty much every other team in the league. But the Premier League basically is a Super League. So the fact that we have a side like Liverpool or we have a side like Arsenal in the last couple of years, you know, to me, I don't think that changes the, the fact. The rest of the teams in the league are just not as good as those one or two teams that fight it out at the top. And the same has gone in the Bundesliga for the last 11 or 12 years. But then how can you, how can you really determine that just based off the win within their own league? Because like you say, right? That just because they win doesn't mean that the rest of the teams are that poor. Look at the margins that they won by. That is what I have been trying to tell people when they come back at me and say, the Bundesliga is a farmer's league. I say to them, you can't just say that teams in Germany are shit because Bayern has won the title 11 years in a row. Bayern Munich are a super team, just like Man City. And, you know... It's a separate point, but there, there is that prevailing idea that, well, you know, a team like a team like Brighton could go into the Bundesliga or could go into La Liga and challenge for top four or win the league, they, they would say, in, in, in maybe the Bundesliga. And I've always told people, that's, that's absurd. That is, you know, the actual level of teams in the Eng English Premier League is not as high as people think. So anyway, it has been my little, you know, my little horse that I've been riding over I, the last couple of years. I, I like has... you a lot, Christian. I, I like you a lot, brother, but I feel like you're a little too delusional here. You know, because uh, <laughs> before Please this season, Bayern won, Bayern won the title 11 times in a row. Like, how, how do you compare? And if, you, if you're saying that uh, EPL, it's the English Agricultural League, 
uh, why haven't you been saying that for the past decades? You know, because uh, the last decade, Chelsea was winning pretty much every year or so, or every other year. The decade before that, it was Man United. And now that City won right. four in a row, or it's, it's supposed to win four in a row, I don't want to count you out yet, Noah. But now that Noah, that City is supposed to win those four times in a row, now you're going to say that the EPL is a farmer's league. I don't think it makes much sense, considering that the, the Bundesliga has seen Bayern winning the title 11 times in a row in the past 12 years. Right. It's just not so, a fair so, comparison. So, I mean, just look so, at the so, Premier League. Leicester won in 17. I mean, who would expect? Right. I feel like everybody so, has a shot in the Premier League, you know, but usually the, the, the team with a better system wins at the end of the day. But that's the thing. I really don't think every team has a shot in the Premier League. I think that at the end of the day, you know, we can define it how we want. But I'm trying to look at it as how it is now. I'm not going to wait until City win the next six titles and say, ah, now they have 10. Now I can say the Premier League is a farmer's league. I'm looking at the actual level of what is actually the state of affairs in the league. And the way I see it now, you have one team, really two, because Arsenal, I think, are closer to that level than they are to the rest of the team. But you have two teams who are just that much better than everyone else. And City have, Arsenal are really just getting to that level in the last two years. City have maintained that for the last seven or eight years. And so that's why I think that it's important for us to look at it now and say, we basically have another, we have a super league on our hands. You know, just like how we can look at, we could have looked at Bayern Munich from five years ago and said, look at the state of affairs here. They are so much yeah. better than everyone else. But what happens is, and what I fight against, is when people look at that and say, aha, the teams elsewhere other than England are actually just, you know, they're just crap. They're just made up of a bunch of part-time footballers. And I tell people this is not the case. The teams in the EPL are not, you know, below like City, Arsenal, Liverpool, the top four. They're not as good as people think. I think people think that a side like Brighton or a side like Wolves would go over and visit a side like Augsburg or Frankfurt or even like, you know, the teams in, in, in Spain and just walk them because they're in the Premier League and the Premier League is this high level. And I tell people that that's not what would happen. And look at the performances in Europe. It's not yeah. dominant. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean I, I hear you, but the problem that I have with, with the Bundesliga or, or even League 1 is that the league remains inherently not competitive because the best players from the league only goes to one team, and that being Bayern Munich and the other being Paris Saint-Germain, right? Premier League is not like that. Premier League, the best players in the league can go to any of the big six, really, realistically, right? Declan Rice could have gone to City. He went to Arsenal and elevated them, right? So that that's where... The, the, the league, for me, remains inherently not competitive because players, the best players, only, literally only go to one team. And that's uh, that's probably what led them but, to, the, to the dominance over, over the past... But why did Declan Rice not go to City? He wanted to stay in London, I think, mainly. I mean, what, why did, you know, is that the only reason? I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering because, like, City, they have a guy like Rodri already. So I, I, I wonder if that also has something to do with it. You know, like Declan looks at the situation and says, Arsenal is on the up. Arsenal needs a player like me. I'm going to start week in, week out for Arsenal. Whereas in City, I have to rival Rodri for the place. And when you look at it, all of the big players, I mean, they, they go to the big clubs. Same in the Bundesliga. All the big players go to Bayern or they go to Dortmund. Dortmund actually signs a lot of young German talent, like high prospect German talent from the, the teams actually hate it. I think they ruined the league by doing that. But it happens everywhere. And all I ask from Premier League fans is just a little bit of introspection. Just a little bit of understanding that maybe we are the farmers in, in a world full of farmers. So right there, what, what's your definition of farmer? Clearly, 
then tell us how you identify who the Farmers League is. Like how no, do like you I put said, strength? Like I said, I use it ironically. I use it ironically because that is what has that is what people have been saying have been going on in the Bundesliga, which is that you just have one side that is so much better than everyone else. And that is why I say EPL is a farmer's league because you basically have one side that is so much better than everyone else. And it seems like it will be that way for the next few years. I mean, unless something drastic happens. But what's your, your, not ironically, what's your definition of it? Oh, not ironically. I don't engage with it unironically. I don't think it's a serious term. A farmer's league, I think, is just a, a silly banter term. But, you know. It's just a point about the banter that goes on and, you know, I mean, not entirely. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. City have won, what, seven out of the last eight? So, it is what it is, you know. We, it's by the margins, though, that's the way I see it. Yeah, you, you've had you've had good competitors along the way, um, you know, yeah, Liverpool, sure. Arsenal. But, yeah, I... This will probably continue. Well, I shouldn't we'll say how long seven out of the, Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't say seven out of the last eight because the, the final game hasn't happened yet. But most likely, seven out of the last eight. Um, we'll probably continue until Pep leaves next year, hopefully. But 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 that's why I brought it up. No, one sec is because uh, you know that was a point I really wanted to raise was like just the inevitability of City. Like I think it says a lot that everyone is basically granting them the title from now even though they haven't played West Ham that's all we have time for today guys thanks for tuning in as always we hope you enjoyed your time with us remember to subscribe to leave comments and share with your friends follow us on social media at FOTB pod don't forget to leave a review rating and most importantly don't forget to turn on those notifications Join us again next time as we discuss the highly anticipated upcoming Premier League action. Thanks again as always. See you then.